So I'm going to demonstrate a quick and easy content analysis using the Yoshicoder project uh, 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 software, which is available as a free download on the internet. So uh, to begin with, I need to get into the software, the, the, the two in this case text files I'm going to contrast. You can do more than two, but um, uh, we'll use two for the demonstration. I'm going to click this document tab up here and then add documents. And I'm going to navigate to where the documents are on my computer. I have them in, in an external disk here. Here they are. I'm just going to highlight both of them. I click the first one, hold down the shift key, and that, that allows me to select the second one as well. And click open. And they both open into the program. Here's uh, uh, the text from Fox News, and here's the text from the New York Times. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you how to download these from LexisNexis. Uh, the next thing I want to do is come over here to the dictionary and uh, define some terms that, um, that define the two frames I'm going to contrast. Uh, to do that, I'm going to right click on the dictionary here and choose Add Category. And I'm going to add a category that I'm going to call the uh, collective, the collective frame. And then I want to add a couple of terms to that, terms that indicate the collective frame. Um, again, I left click on collective and choose add pattern and I can add the first of my uh, words that indicate a collective frame. Let's go with uh, uh, lesbians, lesbian plural, like that. Uh, and then uh, see this little plus sign, you can click that and you can see what you've added to the category. Uh, I've got a few more I want to add. Again, uh, right clicking, add pattern, and let's do gays, G-A-Y-S, and OK. And one more, uh, let's do uh, homosexuals, plural. OK, so that's uh, uh, three, three words that indicate the collective frame. Uh, now I want to uh, define a different frame, which I'll call the, um, uh, the individual frame. So I'm going to highlight dictionary, right click, and choose add category. And that would be the uh, individual, I-N-D-I-V-I-D-U-A-L. There we go. And click OK. And then add some terms to that one. Uh, add pattern. And our first one, let's see, would be uh, lesbian. OK. Uh, and then, let's see, add another pattern. We have gay. And one more pattern, uh, homosexual. Just like that. Okay, so there are uh, uh, three words that indicate either one frame or the other. Uh, now what we need to do is simply apply this dictionary to the documents that, that, we're, uh, that we're dealing with here. Uh, so I, I also have open this spreadsheet, which you can also download from the website, um, that's already set up to, to uh, uh, take in the data that I'll be getting here. So uh, let's look at Fox News first. Um, I'm going to click uh, Report here and then Apply Dictionary to the Current Document. Okay. So what it did was it, uh, it applied this dictionary to the, uh, the Fox News content and it found 44 occurrences of the collective frame. That is, it found 44 occurrences of, of these three words here. So uh, switching back to the spreadsheet, we'll put that uh, here. And it found uh, 74 instances of the individual frame. Uh, so that would go here. All right. Uh, now let's apply, I'm going to close this, let's apply the same dictionary to the New York Times uh, um, uh, content. Uh, so there's report, uh, apply dictionary to the current document. Notice that I switched to the New York Times over here from, from, from Fox News to the New York Times. Uh, so report, um, apply dictionary, current document. And we find that the, uh, in the New York Times content we have um, a 125 instances of the collective frame. Uh, that would go here. And uh, let's see, 669 instances of the individual frame. So that would go here. All right. And the uh, again, the spreadsheet is pre-programmed, so it, it, it goes ahead and tells us the percentages of, um, uh, of, of the percentage of, of the mentions in Fox that follow the collective frame versus the percentage of mentions in, in the Times. So we find that the Times talked about um, uh, 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 don't ask, don't tell. Um, 
uh, and, and used um, one of these six uh, words uh, 912 times. Of those 912 occurrences, 16% came from the collective frame uh, compared to the 37% that came from the Fox frame, uh, or that, that came from the Fox content. So Fox was more likely to use the collective frame uh, than Times was, than, than, than the New York Times content was. Um, is that a non-random difference? Well, we have our um, um, observed and expected values down here and a formula that, uh, um, that computes a chi-square. And uh, the result of the chi-square, the, the p-value, is uh, it's in scientific notation. Um, uh, looks like seven zeros point and then seven zeros and then 1.9 and some change so that's a whole lot less than 0.05 and it means that this pattern is non-random that Fox uh, really was more likely to employ the collective frame um, than the New York Times was when writing uh, about the, the repeal of the don't ask don't tell uh, uh, policy so that's a quick example of how to do a content analysis using the free uh, Yoshi Coder program